Have you ever had a craving for a cup? A longing for a glass? Perhaps even a strong desire for a goblet? Well, today is your lucky day because this is three games about cups. Starting off, we have Cappuccino Spoon T Force. Spoon Force? F six. Deluxe. Obviously, you, you all remember Cappuccino Spoon Force Deluxe uh, 5. And uh, this is the sequel to that. How do I hit start? What button? I'm hitting every. Oh. It's R, apparently. Nope. That's restart. What's T? Y? Yes. Okay. Y is our select button. Um, I don't know what the goal is, but apparently we're covering this poor girl in sugar. Oh no. Game over? What? Oh, okay. I found the controls. Z and Y, X, up, down, P. Oh. Oh. I feel bad for her. Oh no. I just made her mad. So it seems like the goal here is T. It looks like I'm pooping on her. I really like the art style. It's very cute. Bonk. Oops. Okay. I don't even think that was my high score. Well, that was Cappuccino Spoon Force Deluxe 6. I didn't even get my high score on the last one there. Uh, but that was a cute little game. This next game is called Froggy Pot. It's apparently about a frog that's in a pot that you have to convince to get out of the pot. Because it's gonna boil and the dog- Frog? Dog? Frog? Frog is gonna die. So, uh, let's- Let's- let's open this. Oh, there's the frog. Froggy is sleeping soundly. The pot? It's warm and cozy now, but it will come to a boil eventually. It'll be dangerous, so please help convince Froggy to get out of the pot soon. I'm counting on you. Okay. Get out of the pot! Hello? Ah, hello? Uh, why are you in a pot? Why am I in a pot? Why are you here? I was having such a nice nap when you woke me up. I, well, I'm not sorry for disturbing you, but sorry for disturbing you. Apology accepted. That was fast. Heh, relax. It's all good. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the water to heat up. The water's already warm. Just enjoy yourself for two minutes and get out, because it's gonna boil. It's nice and warm. You're tired. Why don't you join me? The pot will come to a boil soon. Will you come out? Ah, don't worry. I'll get it eventually. That's what they all say. I just want to relax for a bit. Once it gets too hot, I'll get out for sure. Yeah. I don't know. You're starting to convince me now. How long have you been in here? I don't know, but it must have been quite a while now. But oh man, I'm so tired. Some days are just kind of like that. I don't want to do anything, you know? I'm sure you understand, right? Yes, but th I don't think you understand the urgency of the situation. Anyway, what about you? So, uh, how's your day been? Uh, alright, same as usual, I guess. That's nice. There's something peaceful about the unchanging present. Every day is the same. It might be a little bit boring, but having a routine or something to do isn't so bad, I think. At least, you know what to expect every day. But I wouldn't say that I have much of a routine. Uh, okay, so about that routine... Hmm, the pot is getting pretty cozy. I feel it getting a little warmer. Yeah, you're gonna die. Wanna join? No. Uh, no, but why on earth are you wearing that a jacket in water that's blasphemy? <laughs> yeah! Hey, I can do what I want. Doesn't matter if it gets wet. I ain't getting out anyways. Nice try. Froggy can do what Froggy wants. That's a- that should- that's gonna be my new catchphrase, actually. If I get out, I'll have to return to being a responsible adult. Oh, man. It's- I- okay. Can I get in the pot with you? I- I feel the same way. You can't run away forever. It's not gonna be that bad. What kind of responsibilities? You're an adult? Deal with it kind of responsibilities um like you i'm gonna be honest you can't run away forever the pot's gonna boil you're gonna die i know you know i'm pretty good at running i did a 40k 40 kilometer marathon once damn well i guess we can't run for life itself Jeez, who are you anyway 
I'm gonna be staying cozied up in here, so... Look, just leave me alone in peace, will you? No! Guess you aren't leaving. Why don't we talk about something else? Is there anything you like to do? Uh, I like doing creative things, like playing games. I'm too busy nowadays. My hobbies are beyond your puny mortal comprehension. <laughs> Uh, I like playing games. Oh, me too. Maybe one day we can play a game together. Right now! Get in the pot, let's play a game together. You know, sometimes I get told that playing games is super unproductive. That I should be working on improving myself, my goals. But sometimes I want to grind in game and not in real life, you know? Yeah! Uh, what about you? Any hobbies? Oh, I like guitar. Me too! I play guitar. Let's get out of the pot and play guitar. In fact, I was playing a song just this morning. I wrote it myself. I'm very proud of it. Can I hear it? No! Okay. It's not good enough yet! It has breaks all over and it doesn't really follow any beats. Well, I'll listen to it anyway. Just get out of the pot. Well, at least it has a good beginning, I think. Not that you'd be able to hear it anyway. Oh, right. Another thing I love doing is origami. They say if you fold a thousand cranes, your wish will come true. Hmm? Oh, I don't have a wish, if that's what you're asking. Do I need to have a wish? Uh, not really. Hmm. Though I've never thought about what I'd wish for if, I, if given the chance. Why don't you make a wish now? I have a wish! My wish is for you to get out of the pot. Ah! That's a neat idea. Hmm. I guess my wish would be to always be with the one I love, I suppose? But I don't know if that's possible right now. Why not? Maybe when my time is up, too, we'll reunite in the sky. Oh! Oh. Froggy, I'm so sorry. Or wherever dead people go. Is that why you're in the pot? Are you trying to boil yourself? I feel like that's a really bad way to go, but okay. Sorry, didn't mean to bring the mood down. Though I still have so much to do, and yet... I'm just laying here. Flo floating away. Huh. I'm sure they would want you to live well. That is true. They may be gone, but they would want you to live on and be happy. I'm sure she would. The person most important to me goes by the name Sap. Sap and Froggy. I miss Sap. Please get out of the pot. Really? I'm not gonna empathize anymore? I'm just gonna be like, get out of the pot. Your time is up. I'm not even gonna say it. Sap is a nice name. No, get out of the pot. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't know why. When I'm in here, my knees feel, knees feel weak and arms spaghetti. Ugh. I just can't move. I just can't. You boiling? I haven't seen the sky in a while. Speaking of the sky, I've always wanted to go to space. I wanted to be an astronaut. But that seems too hard. So instead, I fold paper planes and dream of the skies. I can pick you up right now and just... Whew! You can go to space real fast. Oh, you're still here. Uh, this must be incredibly boring for you. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd stay this long. Maybe it's time for you to leave. Man, it's getting hot in here, huh? Yeah, get out of the pot. It's boiling. Froggy, why won't you leave this pot? I... I know I've got to get out soon. But even if I go back, what will I do? Back to work, the hustle, the grind, all that? I feel that. And to what end? And at the end of the day, no one is there to share my days with. You'll find someone new. No one anymore. I'm tired. If passion is a candle, mine burnt out a long time ago. Oh, Froggy. Still no good will come staying here. Or Froggy. Froggy. That's literally what I said. The world that awaits me outside this pot. Do I really belong there? You know, everyone I know is so different from me. They have their passions and dreams, but I don't really have any. Yep, being with Sap made me happy. Sap made me a better person. I know it shouldn't be this way, but Sap was my passion, in a sense. Aww. Sap saw value in the things I did and encouraged me. And then there was one more person in this world with me. But now that Sap's gone, I don't know what to do anymore. Sap passed away from illness about a year ago. Since then, I've been in stagnation. These days, I will just wade through life without much meaning. But lying in here brings me some comfort, at least. Tell me, is that wrong? <sighs> Oof. I mean... It's not wrong, but it's gonna... 
it's gonna... It's gonna kill you, I'm gonna be honest. If you stay in that pot too long, it's gonna... You're, you're gonna die. But I empathize. I feel very bad for you. You think I'm letting my family down? No! Something that's been on my mind lately. Even though Sap's gone, my family are still relying on me back home, but here I am. Oh, it's okay! Go back to your family! Just staying here, not doing anything? It's as if time stops when I'm in this pot. No more worries, no more troubles. They're expecting great things of me. If they found out about my situation right now, they'd surely be disappointed in me. Nope! If they truly love you as family should, they will not be disappointed in you. You aren't a disappointment to anyone. Thanks. Of course, my parents would never tell me they're disappointed in me. But I can see it in their eyes and sad smiles. Do you think if I continue working hard, that will ever change someday? Uh, I don't know what makes me happy. I don't know, it never hurts to try. If you don't leave this pot, you'll never know. To find happiness from within. Hmm. You do have to find happiness from within. And if you stay in this pot, you'll never know. I'm gonna say that. True, but... If I get out of the pot, will there be anything worth going back to? When I meet my friends, they'll ask how my job is going, if I'm doing something exciting. But I don't have anything to talk about other than my hamster, I suppose. You have a hamster?! You gotta go take care of your hammy boy! Or a girl. Hamster! He's kind of- oh, he's a hammy boy. He's kind of old, but he's still killing it at the wheel. Yeah, go take care of him. When I meet my family, they'll ask me about things I've achieved over the year. How am I supposed to tell them I've done nothing? My life has remained the same. Time is slipping away. At my age, everyone else has already moved on, but I'm stuck here. I will be here for you, and your hamster. Please, don't say that. We met a few minutes ago. How could you possibly know about me? Ultimately, what happens to Froggy is inconsequential to you. Because you'll continue to live and exist and life will go on for you regardless. You'll eventually forget about Froggy in due time. I'm just a passing Froggy in a pot. You just want to be happy you saved Froggy. I feel kind of called out. But I do care about you, Froggy. Don't say that. And your family. I really want you to be happy. If you really want to save me, you would have pulled me out of the pot. If you really want to save me, you would have tried to turn the heat off. If you really wanted, you could would come here right now. Stupid. But you just sit there talking to me, asking me to get out. But you don't do anything. You're not my friend, you're just a stranger. You're not sap. Froggy has nothing to go back to. Passion, love, happiness, wishes. Such things are fleeting for Froggy, yet despite my flawed self, I found someone who accepted me and loved me. But even they are not here anymore. So tell me, how should I... How should I continue to exist? I don't know. Of course you don't. Because you are me. Oh, damn. The person I've been talking to is myself, isn't it? Convincing myself to get out of the pot with words Sap used to tell me. Holding on to the tiny pieces of heart she gave me. Coming up with reasons to continue trying. Every day I tell myself to get out of this pot. It should be so easy. So why is it so hard? I'm truly hopeless, aren't I? It's not like I don't try, I don't want to stay like this. But every time I, I think, what if I get out of the pot and I do my best and things don't change? What if it doesn't get better after all? I would end up feeling worse than if I never got out. Is that kind of world worth going back to? So I end up talking to myself, consoling myself like this to get out of the pot. Froggy seems to think you aren't real, that you're just imaginary. Excuse you, I'm a separate person, you know. Uh, hey, I'm not you, huh? I am me and you are you, you aren't talking to yourself. You have a hamster, but I sure don't. SMH, I would never wear a hoodie in a pot filled with water like you would. What do you mean? You are not alone here, I'm with you. You're saying you're real? I'm not just talking to myself the whole time? But if so, how come I can't see you? You're just a voice, so I must be imagining things. I must be so far gone I've started hallucinating or something. 
If you really are real, come here right now. I wish you could come, but I physically cannot enter your world. You're saying you're not from this world? I don't understand. I want to help you, but I cannot come to your world. So talking is the only thing I can do. I see. But you're just someone I met a few minutes ago. Why do you care what happens to Froggy? Do I need a reason to care about someone else? You know, that's what Sap told me when we first met. I had nothing to offer her, but she cared. Maybe I had it wrong the whole time. If you say you are real, prove it. Prove it to me that you're here. How? I don't know. If you were me, you wouldn't know it how either. Please tell me. Tell me I'm not alone. Seems like Froggy isn't fully convinced. Froggy can't see me, but there's one thing I can do. I can tell Froggy my name. My name is... Maybe I should... Did I say Pee Pee? No, this is too sad to, to make jokes. My name is Freya. Freya? So you really are from another world, Freya. You're real. <laughs> right in the flesh I am. I just told you my name. How can I be so sure? <laughs> just kidding. I'm actually just in your head. Freya isn't my real name. <laughs> I should have said Pee Pee. You know? Actually, Pee Pee isn't my real name. Uh... Uh, right in the flesh I am. Heh <laughs> heh. Man. Jeez, this sure is a long day. I don't know if I have the strength to face the outside world right now. I'm still afraid of messing up. It's okay to mess up. No one is perfect. But despite everything, you're still here, aren't you? Yeah, despite everything, you're still here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. Um, do you think it will get better after I go back? I don't know. Yeah, of course. You aren't clairvoyant. Huh, I suppose there really is no way of knowing. That'd be life, uh-huh. It do be life. Oh, can Froggy ask you something? Sure. Are we friends now? Of course. You mean we weren't friends until now? I, I just wanted to confirm. Thanks, Freya. And sorry for calling you a stranger just now. Ah, <sighs> I've been here long enough. Well, it's about time I get out of the pot. Though it's cheesy. Having someone to talk to that isn't myself, I feel a little better. Back into a world of uncertainty I go. I will most definitely feel hopeless again once I leave this pot. But life has to go on even there if there isn't a meaning, I suppose. At the very least, I still have to take care of Ham Ham. Good old Ham Ham! Little hammy, hammy guy. My hamster. Thank you for talking to me. It's been a while since I talked to someone other than myself. Froggy has been living alone for so long now, away from my family and Sap. I don't know if life will get any easier or less confusing, but I suppose I can't stay here forever. You know, Sap once told me, a pebble that lies on the shore of a beach doesn't need a reason to be there. It just is. It just exists. But it doesn't make it any less of a pebble. So I guess for now it's okay for me to simply exist too. Until the day I can be happy again. Until then, I'll get out of the pot for now. Thank you, Freya. Though you're so far away, Froggy will always be cheering you on. The end. That was- oh, who are you? Oh, the creator, hello. Okay, you're just here because you want to tell me thank you for playing. Ah. Thank you for making this game. Well, that was Froggy Pot. That was really cute. I liked that a lot, and it, it was really relatable. Uh, from both ends, as someone with mental illness and friends and family who also have mental illness. I'm not one for words, but good game. This game is called How to Make a Cup of Tea. Turn the kettle on, okay. I'm guessing we're just making tea. Get the tea bag. Tea, tea, pick up tea bag. Put the tea bag into the cup. Get the kettle, okay. This is, a, this is a process. Why don't I just bring everything onto one counter? Pour the water into the cup. Stir the tea. Remove the tea bag. Get the sugar. Put the sugar in the tea. Get the milk. Milk, it's good. Pour the milk in the cup. Stir the tea again. Pick up the tea. Leave with the tea. The end. Oh, turn the kettle on. Again, we make more tea. Where'd the cabinets go? Get the tea bag. There's no tea bag. Oh, there's the... Dog time? Okay. 
Pick up tea bag from the floor. Okay. Tea bag is in there. I feel like it's a little unsanitary, but it is what it is. Uh, when you're desperate and British, you gotta do what you gotta do. Pour the water into the cup. Stir the tea. Uh, remove the tea bag. Get the sugar. I'm guessing this is a pick up top. This is our sugar now. Put sugar in the tea. Get milk. Oh. I. F Can I pour it in? I feel like it's not gonna pour. It's gonna like kathunk. Uh, pick up the tea. Leave with the tea. I'm not sure you could call that tea, but okay. Turn the kettle on. Oh god. What's with the music? Turn on the soda fountain. Blood? Uh Not tea water. Tea water. Hmm. Is this a... Is this a... Get the tea bag. Pick up pile. Put the tea bags into the cup. Get the kettle. Pick up soda. Pour water into cup. Pour soda. Okay. Remove the tea bag. Get the. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, don't touch me. Wait, pick up dog. Are you the sugar? Also, why is. Why is the fridge on the ceiling? Put sugar in tea? Put in dog? No, Fido, no! Oh, no! Uh oh. Oh, spilt milk. <laughs> uh, pour the milk in the cup, okay. How, how did I, did I like scoop it off the floor? <laughs> Slurp it up. Stir the tea. Pick up the tea. And that's our tea. Okay, why is everything like... Are you the kettle? Is your name Kettle? Am I gonna turn you on? The man begins to rumble. Oh. Where'd you go? Get the... Hello, sir, you're sitting on my tea bag. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna put your chair in here now. Oh, where'd you go? Why do you keep moving around? Why are you staring at me like that? Okay, pick out the tea bag. Why does it look like blood? Get the- get the sugar? Oh no! Sir, I'm sorry to say, but you seem to have landed on a bad part of the food chain. I can eat sugar with both hands. I'm ambidextrose. <laughs> okay. Get the milk. Are you the milkman? I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Okay. Glad to know. Pick up the tea. Better hope he likes it. Open the door! Oh god, my ears. T speed run. T. T. T run. Speed. Spati run. Oh god, ow! Get the kettle. Kettle. Water into cups. Stir tea. Remove tea bag. Get the sugar before my ears blow out. Sugar. Oh. Oh, why is it so far away? Why are the why are these wood all of the sudden? Why are you photos of Oh god. Milk PNG. Pour milk PNG in cup. Stir tea PNG. Stir TNG. Bring me my tea? Where'd the, where'd the rest of the kitchen go? I thought this was... This was a big... Okay. Yeah. Oh, it 
it's you. It's the it's the it's the kettle guy. Hello. Do you like your tea? Why? Thank you. That was the best cup of tea I've had in five thousand years. You're While old. you're here, look at what I've been working on. T. Oh, it's the game. <laughs> well, that was how to make a cup of tea. Uh, I definitely learned a lot. I learned how to make tea. Uh, uh, well, if you like that, I suggest you give a like to the video and subscribe. Because if you don't, the milkman will come after you. And there's nothing you can do. You will taste his milk. His milk tastes very good. Bye.